Hey people, Rex is the Antichrist, and that's uh that's not necessarily a bad thing. That's that's a good thing. At least now I know it's not me. I was worried about that, but I've been subscribed to Rex. I was one of his first 2,800 subscribers, and he's done grown past 10 times that since I've been watching him. And uh, he uh he usually pulls up some good books that. That most people never heard of and uh, and he's got a phrase he often uses is uh, as I got this this great interpretation but how do you know it's a great interpretation if you can't read the original all you have is more hearsay and so that's why I try to teach how to read the, the original so it was in the book of Exodus that I found that. And uh, I'm going to show you where it is. And first I'm going I'm to show you the secrets in, to help you understand how to read this original. So I got this pulled off. I got this pulled off here. And this is the ancient letter chart. And everybody needs to get them a copy of this. Just Google Hebrew letter chart. And uh, run you a paper copy to help you with all my movies. Just keep it beside you. I try to explain it as I go. So this is Genesis 25, 7. It, these are the days, the years, of life of Abraham, which he lived a hundred years and seventy years and five years. And uh, there's just a couple of words that, that's been translated right there. And uh, when you look at this picture, this is the picture that goes with this. And you'll never guess where Abraham is with with your interpretation. But we'll start with this first word here. This uh this is veil, V Vav to connect and uh A the knowledge and L the bind and life and uh and all everything has two meanings. Everything has more than two meanings. All the letters have more than two meanings. But a veil, that's um, that's a veil. That means uh, it means that they were told that it's the wall. You'll find this word every time it says, "And these are the generations of Noah," or "These are the generations of Adam." What it'll say is the veil of the tooled writings, and it'd be spelled out T U L D, tooled the tooled marks and uh, and a veil you know what a veil is a veil is a uh, is an ancient Arab trick they would they would use into into tricking you into into marrying the, the wrong girl and uh, and that's what happened uh, that's what happened to Jacob that's why he ended up with the ugly sister right here and Jacob agree, agreed to work for seven years. He thought he was going to get with Rachel. And uh, and on the night of the wedding, oh, Daddy done veiled the other, the ugly daughter, the ugly Leah. He didn't notice Leah was there, and it's still used today. You know, that's when you when you have your wedding. That's why the the priest says uh, he says I pronounce you man and wife. And now you could kiss the bride. You, you're pronounced man and wife before you get to lift the veil and see who's actually under there. So this says the, the veil, Jimmy sign work. And uh, Jimmy, these are uh, these are these are writings from the the priests. They're they're signs, meaning numbers, the Jimmys. And. Uh, and this sign work, they say it means years, and you see it come up here four different ways, meaning years. Here's sign with the tack, sign with the E, and here's sign, sign with the E, or three different ways, and then sign work with the M. And they all said to mean years, uh, but that's. Uh, on the first page of the Bible, it says that means two. It uh, we see this we see this here. We click on this sign, 
and uh, here it says the first time this comes up is is in 23 1 meaning years it's just S N I and it's the same way here with the tack still meaning years but uh we can look on the on the second day and here is given the meaning second and uh and that's and that's it's not what it's saying it's saying sign day one was day one saying to learn the Tao and or the Tao is the is the the English pronunciation of Tao and that means to to learn the path learn the way learn the path to read and uh, and then it's giving you a hint because it's divided by by light divide the light the colors to learn the direction and that's the direction to read in because all was created with the word and so you have to understand which direction the words going you see it here on the first day it was this starts with the A and it reads backwards it's it's the Tao make connect from the Tao learn the path by dividing the light that's your clue divide the light to learn the path and then day two is make connect from the sign work so it's saying here the veil of Jimmy sign work the the veil the hidden number signs and then this tack here means it's so uh, Egyptian alchemist trick and it means to read the next one backwards and forwards and so what this says is is the hand the works the number 10 over here the yard the hand to make the itchy I H I is this fish and it's still used today um, if you go to if you go to Japan or, or Hawaii and you order an itchy ahi you're gonna you're gonna get a yellowfin tuna and uh, when this means when this means tuna it'll be spelled just a h i with the tack here so you'll read it backwards and it'll be then it'll be itchy ahi and that means the great fish the big tuna but the way this is it's the two eyes and then the h and two eyes again so it's it's to make the fish work the, the and this means the fisherman that's the life is the, the fisherman the veil of the numbers the sign works of the fisherman and so this Abraham starts with an A and it reads backwards and so this is from the ear and the B is is in from the hearing from the hearing hearing's a fish that you don't catch on a hook they're uh they're the kind of fish that don't bite what you put on a hook. You catch them in a net, the heron. And uh, so the fisherman, to raise the heron, the, this is raise here, starts with an A and it reads backwards. To raise, and then here's the tack again. And so it's just I-H, and so it reads backwards and forwards. I-H-I, to raise the itchy, to raise the fish. And then it says mat. And uh, mat is uh, is the ancient number for for a hundred. It looks just like this. If um, they say it, uh, they say it's a scroll. It represents a scroll, but um, it's actually uh, it's actually a hundred foot. It's a hundred foot of rope on the deck. If you if you're on a boat and uh, and you want to keep a rope handy, maybe for a, a safety line to throw out and catch somebody, you call it up here on the on the deck into a mat. It's where your word mat come from. You got a hundred foot of rope, and you call it up in a little bitty coil there. So it says to to raise the itchy of the mat sign life and the Saboam sign life. And so, uh, this Saboam sign life is, uh, that's, uh, this Merotic text, that's from, that means, uh, that means, that's the Ethiopians. And, uh, and you see here at their number, 
70. And this is the, the priest size, the number 70. And you can see that here. Here's 100. And then here's 70. You wonder why this rope's hanging off here. You know, he can't, uh, how's that rope hanging there? It's because they're not representing fishmen. They're representing the number 170. How are these men pulling this rope, doing this man any good going around the turn? And uh, so if anybody could find this in the ancient wall, it came off, this is a wood print from, uh, from 1600s, I believe. And, uh, and this is all artwork that came off the wall in Egypt. So, uh, so it's the Matt Sign Life and the Saboam, the 70s Sign Life. To the chemists, and this is, this is not five. That's, uh, that was the word that's used on day five, and that's why it's stuck in there. But, uh, that, that's not day five. Like I said, the, the 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 one we the first page where they're giving us the list of numbers of days. Those aren't numbers of days. These are number. These are knowledges to learn. There are things to learn in order to read this. And this is the chemists. And the and the chemists are uh, are uh, that's the the priests the, the Ethiopian priests. And that's what this. Uh, that's what this Marotic is. That's the Cushites. That's the that's the priest. The hundred and seventy, the sign, the sign life, and it's telling you the the, the sign numbers and the sign life. To chemists of the signs to work from. And it's telling you which signs you're working from. And so, like I say, anybody who could find the rest of this uh, this picture on the wall in Egypt, I'd love to see the rest of it with all the writings. It 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 would help it would help uh, decode a lot more of this Bible. So one more time, make sure you get it: the veil, the veil, the hidden to make from the work. This uh, the eye to make the hand, the hand, the M from work to make from the work the the veil the hidden to make from the work of the sign work of the numbers so you can see that word here in Genesis 10 1 the veil of the tooled t-u-l-d-t -T, marks the, the the hidden meaning the veil of the tooled marks of being and this isn't sons this is time Tool marks the veil of the tooled marks of tree. And then you can see here in uh in that it's a little different here and it's, it starts with the A, so now this is backwards. And it's Allah, Allah God. God tooled, and it's got a another another Vav here. Vav is V, U, and W. So it's is Allah told what the the Shamim the Shamim is uh, is the the spirits motion is the planets where the planets wear cross W E A R X where the planet God told the planets where to cross and the tool of the cipher of the tooled writings made as the Adam is backwards made. So, um, if you wonder why the Hebrew Bible has all these names of angels and gods and, and you don't see them in your Bible, it's because this English, the English translations are about 97% fabricated bull to keep you. They didn't want you to know this. But uh, Exodus starts talking about how to create word generators and, and where all the gods and the, and the angels in the heavens belong. And and that's talking it's talking about astrology and you see it here it starts with veil veil the hidden meaning 
of the smut, the, the hidden, the veil of smut in the bing, in the bings of time, the time of his role, in the, in the time of the spirit, what? In the, the veil, the veil, the hidden meaning of the spirit, SM, fire waters, spirit, the spirit, what? Time his rule. So this is what Rex was talking about was the the revelations of of Matthew or the apocalypse to make choice. The apocalypse to make choice C2. And uh you'll find that word in that whole chapter where Moses was telling uh, was telling them not to uh not to be uh upskirting that's a good word for apocalypse, the upskirt. Not to be upskirting your kinfolk, your little sister and your cousin. And it took a whole chapter to teach them low, low the toggle. And you see here in, uh, in the Greek, it's the same word, um, the apocalypse, the apocalypse to uncover. To, to find to find a meaning see here's the same word the the apocalypse to make choice the apocalypse and uh and this is the this uh revelation is uh that's what is a revelation to wake up to see to uncover the hidden meanings and uh and so this nakedness, that's uh let's strip it down and see what the meaning is. And you see it's O R U T, the Orit. The Orator, and that uh the Orator was Patad of the first teacher. The orator is is uh is 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 speaking. That's what your your present does when he gets on the TV, he orates to you, he's speaking to you, the orator. To un to uncover, to upskirt, to toggle. To the low toggle and uh, this low isn't not this this low is to know K-N-O-W not N-O K-N-O-W to know to bind knowledge and it means it's this bound knowledge it means it's it's secret and so you don't talk it but to learn it to bind the knowledge to toggle to, to look under the skirt to peek under the veil so over here in Exodus it uh in one, it starts talking about how to create the word generators, and and I was reading in three one when I found this, while I was watching Rex's show. But it, it starts with Ann and Moses, and then oh, they just didn't even tell you what that means. But but this is is to Mosiah, to the Mosiah, to the Mesh, and this MSE, the, this is the word they give Moses all through the Bible, and. Uh, and it's it's just not. That's just a big old lie. This is this is the word MS right here. Mesh. To mesh. And what you have here is a bunch of garlic all woven together. It's and it's the symbol for mesh. And uh and you can ask anybody the in the know, ask old Justin Wilson and, and ask him what's the Messiah and he's gonna tell you that's garlic. Garlic is the Messiah. It could save anything. I guarantee. So this is getting long. Let me get on to where I found that. But here, uh, Exodus 6. And it says, to make, to yammer, to make word. And this reads backwards, the icon, an image. From the yell. That's the language of, uh, of the stars. The yell. To backwards again. Starts with A. To give the job. And then... The yell from the hearing. The yell to make the cross check, to make the cross divide center. The the valley, you see this is the veil the work. And the, the veil, the hidden in the valley of Jacob, to make see the center in, to make the star, to mesh the ping to, to mesh the place to. And uh, and so there's more than one fish in the sky. Here's your old Pisces here, and and here's your old heron in the sky, oh from Malhut. 
So many people in the past understood how to read this, and they recreated these old word generators, and uh, and it and it creates words for times, and to understand uh, the the time and uh, and medicines it talks about, and uh, and there's many of them, and some simple for simple tasks, and some and some more more difficult for uh, for the medicine man. And this is the best, the best one. Uh, we call it a Shemham for rash, and uh, and it's got you, it's got you seven planets down here. You got the moon, you wash, and you got your your twelve suns over here. And this is what it's talking about. What it's talking about the burning bush, in uh, in Exodus. This is the burning bush, and you got. 72 herbs and you got your 72 low angels and you got your your 42 lords and this was that picture in uh in Egypt I was I was looking at the other day I was trying to figure out and that's how I ended up here and so um there's your your 12 sons in the circle and we see this symbol here uh the apostrophe and uh, symbol for um, for uh, condensation and uh, and so everything in 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 the Bible is as above is so below. So we flip it over. It's it turns into to the precipitation of the triple sixes and uh, and so I went to look at for these triple sixes here and. And here it is, six is R. And then we go to the to the Lord ring, the forty two Lords, and the six is X, but it's not just any X, this is the, the final X. I mean this is the the end word, Rx. Rx is drugs, Rx is king, Rx is revolutions. Or Rex. And uh, and then the the final six here is over here at, at Thought, the the angel, the god of of Egypt, of Thought. And uh, and I thought that was funny that uh, that Rex's Thought is the Antichrist. So uh, thanks for all your work, Rex. Love your show, and uh, and don't let the the spirit of Obadiah get you. And get back to get back to what you started to, to uncovering the truth. All right, people, this is probably going to be my last movie. Uh, it doesn't seem like a whole lot of people is interested, so uh, I'm just going. I'm going to start reading and and get into this magic that I'm learning more about now. And uh, and so if y'all are interested in the movies, let me know. And I want to see about a hundred shares and. And a thousand views on this before I make another movie. And once again, thanks, thanks, Rex. I know you can handle it.